What's going on? Brian Tong here with everything Google that we can pack inside of a show. Let's jump in and Google might have just leaked out the first sneak peek at Android N after a tweet from their Google Maps account freaked out people with a video that appears to showcase a Nexus 6P without the standard Android app drawer that we're used to having. It's that circle with two rows of dots that takes you right into your apps, but it's not in this video. Now, rumors have been floating around that Android N might get rid of it. Many Android OEMs at Mobile World Congress left it off their phones, and even the LG G5 has dished it. All signs point to it getting the axe. New screenshots from Android Police have been confirmed to be part of Android N, showcasing a hamburger-style menu button on the top left corner for these Bluetooth settings. It would most likely access a side drawer to the left that would feature a list of different options alongside Bluetooth like Wi-Fi or the sound settings. Now, the original intentions for these screenshots were to show off the day and night theme in Android. Now, it's also been confirmed that T-Mobile pre-orders for the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge are already shipping to customers ahead of the official March 11th release date. It's the same S7s that I said had a touch pressure sensitive screen last week, and obviously they don't, but sometimes I have a brain fart and I did last week, so I deserve my own. Come on, Sung! Now, TouchWiz made a big improvement with the S6, but these screenshots shared by Daniel Marchina show off how far it's come with the S7 and may make this an even more appealing get for Android users. Now, some of these images appear to be part of TouchWiz using an actual material design theme, and it looks awesome. So, if you love a pure Nexus experience, Samsung has never been closer this time. Now, the fun doesn't stop there. Samsung's also rolling out new emojis with Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, Emojipedia breaks down some of the changes, including all new faces, even though Samsung really misses the mark with the rolling eyes one compared to other companies' emojis. New animals like the lion face and unicorn and others are here, and the wind blowing face from Mother Nature. See, that's new. Most of these additions come from the Unicode 7 and Unicode 8 releases, but the biggest miss, Samsung doesn't include emoji modifiers for diverse skin tones. Come on, Sung! Black? Emojis matter, and so do Asian and Latino, and you get what I'm saying. But in a weird decision, every one of their people emojis are white, except for the police officer and dancer. That's weird. So we are hoping for an update soon. All right, according to Variety, Google is working with Vizio and others to make TVs with built-in Chromecast functionality. Currently, manufacturers that want the ability to Google cast content must use Android TV, but this new development removes Android TV from the equation. The report says Vizio is rumored to be the first partner and they are expected to ship TVs as early as spring. The Google TV platform never took off. Android TV didn't either, but the Chromecast has been a real success and using a proven formula could help out both manufacturers and the Googs. And if you love robots, you need to watch this. But if you're afraid of robots, cover your eyes. Google's Boston Dynamics recently showed off the next generation of its Atlas robot, and this thing's amazing. The new Atlas robot is 5'9", weighs in at a solid 180 pounds, and is designed to work both indoors and outdoors. Sensors in its legs and body help it bounce. Now look at this thing, scary and cool at the same time. So you know what, you too will one day be able to order your own T-800. It's just a matter of time. I'll be back. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. You can email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious.